Yes, I understand the economy's bad, Stacy. Understand that, but Steve hasn't even looked for a job. Oh, I doubt it's anything close to depression. I think Steve is incredibly lazy. I mean, he's spending all his time playing video games and watching internet porn. He doesn't even sleep in the same bed with me anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to dump all this on you, Stacy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. You know, I'm so glad you're enjoying this whole sitting around and doing nothing thing. It's got to be way better than going out and paying the bills thing. I don't even see you out there putting on the applications. I shouldn't have to. You're the whole breadwinner and all. Hey, that's your assumption. I'm just happy sitting around here collecting unemployment until it runs out and watching these zombie movies. Yeah, I thought as much. You useless motherfucker. Listen, bitch, there's no jobs out there, and I'm not going to go back and work for $14 out and work in a factory or some minimum wage job flipping french fries. Bump that. And how would you know? I haven't seen you put in one application, not even one. How would you know what kind of jobs are out there? Like I said, I did that when I was 18, you know, doing the french fry thing, but I'm not going to go back and do it at 40. Well, you know, your unemployment isn't cutting it. And I can only ask my mother for help so many times. God forbid we'd have to ask your mother. Oh great. Here we go again. Just because my mom's unemployed doesn't make her a target. Your mother's a whore. She sleeps with everybody in the trailer park where she lives. Oh, like you can talk. You know, like your mother's not sleeping with all these old rich men out there, and that's the reason she can help us out right now. You know, you're a real piece of shit, Steve. What else is new? You knew that when you married me. I thought that's what you loved about me. It's pretty one no act. Um, I'll get the door. Good evening. Can I help you? No. The question is, can I help you? I'm sorry? No need to apologize, Becky. Now, if you would only allow me to enter. Wait a minute. How do you know my name? <laughs> I know a lot of things. For example, I know that you and your husband Steve are having some financial problems. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Wait a minute. You're not a bill collector, are you? No, no. Far from it. In fact, I have a proposition for you. One that I think you'd really want to hear. Look behind you on the table. How the heck? I'm in here, Becky. Um, S Steve! Oh, what now? Uh, um, there's a strange man in our house. One I didn't invite in. I suggest you get your ass up here right now. I'm not here to harm you, Becky. I promise. What the hell are you doing in my house? I'm gonna give you five seconds to get the hell out of here. I'm gonna kick your ass. <sighs> Becky and Steve Chase. You are both making more out of this situation than it needs to be. But I assure you, you give me five minutes of your time, I promise that it will be worth your patience. Now please, sit down.
It better be. Are you gonna be reading my Reeboks, bitch? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you would. Luckily, as I stated earlier, I'm here to help the both of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep saying that. But how are you going to help us? Well, I know that you're both having some financial problems. Okay, saying that's true. How the hell do you know about our finances? Trust me. I know. Anyways, here's the deal. I've offered my services to many great couples like yourselves. This box, in many ways, is a problem solver in itself. Some say that it has magic. Some say it was a creation of science. Either way, by simply pressing the red button on the top of the box, your problems will be solved. Okay, that sounds nice. So what does happen if we push the red button? I will give you... $20! That's right! I will give you $20! All you gotta do is push the button. What, so what are you saying? Uh-huh. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't told you yet. So, so, so hold on, all right? All right, just hang on a second. So this is what you do. All you do is push a red button, and then and then something will happen. See, here's... Whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't done yet. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, well, as soon as you push the button, and then here's here's the whole here's the danger of pushing the button. And once you push the button, someone that you do and someone that you don't will die. Okay? So 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 what do you think, huh? So what do you think, huh? Oh. No, wait, wait a minute! I ain't done yet. There's yeah, point out, like a what if? Thank you. What do you, what do you. What do you mean, what if? It's a good deal. But what if? Let's screw this. Oh shit! Whoa! <laughs> all right, that solved all my problems. Now I can go find a real man, one with a 10 inch dick. Oh, well, you're happy about your husband being dead? Well, that's gotta be a first. Well, there's your $20 like I promised. Thank you. Well, it's time for wait, me to leave wait, and get away. Go, what do you mean, where I'm I going? Need, I'm gonna give a chance for someone else to get ha have happiness, all right? But I need more money. And you know what? It's not you my know, problem. You know. Like, what the heck? Give me, wait a minute. I, I, I gotta go. Yeah. This is bullshit! I need more money! More money! <laughs> I don't know what your problem is. You keep thinking you can have your cake and eat it too. Just go fuck yourself. Woo! Woohoo! More money! I told you not to mess with that girl. And I deserve better than what you're giving me. I was I, home by midnight. I don't know where you get that I was out messing no, up. No, I am so sick of you yeah, you know, yeah, feeding yeah, me yeah. lies. You know you're what? Jealous, bitch. Are you ever gonna grow up and get over that shit? I wish you would just drop dead. <laughs> yeah! <laughs>